Hey there, this is uh, Dale with Nomad RV Rentals to talk and show you about your refrigerator and your Thor Freedom Elite. So we're going to take a look here at the on and off buttons that we have up on top. It's called your eyebrow. So here's your on and off button. You'll go ahead and, you know, most of the time it'll be on because you're using it. But right now it's on off. You'll go ahead and set that to on. And this is the auto button. So that's pretty much where you want to leave it because when your auto button's on it'll either run like if you're driving or you're not connected to shore power or any kind of power to power up the coach then it'll just automatically switch to propane and your refrigerator will still be working um you can if this button is depressed and you don't see auto button on then that means it's only working on gas uh so i recommend to leave it on auto so if you do turn on your generator or once you plug in a shore power it'll automatically switch to to whichever whichever the um, power source is um, you'll see your little check light here so when you see this check light and a lot of times you'll see this when you're driving for long distances and the wind is kind of crazy out there you'll see this turn on all that means is that the flame did not light or was extinguished and the computer is probably going to try it three times to light it and if you're still driving it might not so easy fix is if you do see this check light on you'll see auto on is always going to be on but if you see the check light on go ahead and turn it on and then turn it off and then turn it back on and then it'll reignite it and it'll give it give it another chance now really important with these refrigerators are not like your refrigerators at home so they don't push air in they actually just suck hot air out and with that said when you know good rule of thumb is if you're using these refrigerators don't put anything hot inside if you put anything hot inside there you're really going to lose a lot of the cold you know that has already developed inside of there uh same thing with the freezer um you know a good rule of thumb is going to be for every minute that this is open you'll lose it'll take about an hour for it to get cold again so make sure that when you open that you grab what you need and close it right away so keep that cold air locked in there